Hi everyone, welcome to Karen from tillycrafts.stampinup.net uh, Today I'm bringing you this card and this is called a triptychs card where you have three panels where the uh, pattern goes over and you cut it up I've seen quite a few of these about and I actually saw a lady called Jo Rice do this um, she doesn't use stamping up stuff so i thought what have i got that i could recreate this card with so i came up with dainty delight so using these floral images um and we'll see how we go and my moon's a bit misty <laughs> but there again it's fine we can have misty moon um and the car the colors i decided to use are Misty Moonlight, Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis, Azure Afternoon and Blackberry Bliss. Um, and I'm just going to grab, what am I going to grab? Um, oh, a punch for my moon. I did have one punched out but I think I've binned it. Uh, is it that one? Yeah, so any circle die you've got i still have the one and a half inch punch so i'll be using that um so just get a couple of post-it notes i usually do two post-it notes together because um it's a bit more stable and punch it out there we go we've got that um yes we're going to do that use that and see how we go i've also got a few of the uh watercolor pens pencils um they have brought out a new set with some of the taking out some of the retired colors like rich ralph was retired um pacific points retired um those are still current uh, but they brought a new set out with some of the new colors and the returning colors in so but i'm going to use these because i've got them uh, but you can use anything you want so let's get started i made a slightly bigger card than i do normally so this is i've got it all written down here so this is 11 and a half by three uh, by six and three quarters scored at five and three quarters so it'll be five and three quarters by six and three quarters then we've got a layer of now i've got a couple of layers because i don't know which one we're going to use yet so i have azure afternoon starry sky and night of navy so they're just going to layer up on there like that and then i have a stamping layer which is six by five and a quarter now as you can see it's a bit doesn't look quite right but when we cut it up it will do trust me we'll be fine so i need to keep that one that way up and then i don't confuse myself and then i've got a bit of scrap for the sentiment so we'll leave that over there and i'll pop those up there and also i've used some brass butterflies and some gems and the dog has just pinched my cranes i'm gonna to have to pause you because he's run off with my packet of these so bear with me i won't be a minute apologies for that this is what he's run off with and this is what i keep all my pencils in <laughs> but we've recovered it so make sure i put it in the middle of the table so we can't get it um what other thing oh yes i just need one other stamp set uh this little flower here is actually out of the sending smiles stamp set <clears throat> this one here and i'll just get it out this one here i love that little flower it is so cute and extra one we have if i can find it Well, I was looking for the quiet meadow and I can't find that but I have the irresistible blooms and that's got a nice splatter in it so I think we'll take that out as well and we'll have that one let's pop those two to one side out of the way of the dog he's already destroyed a box I made 
I'll show you that. <laughs> I had a prototype. I was trying to make a box, which I'm going to have to get again. But me not realising, left it in reach and he's destroyed it. All the fun and joys of having a puppy. Right, so I want all of these out. And I want the thank you for your kindness stamp set. So I'm just going to pop them out of the way. Get some blocks. Oops, not quite. There we go. <clears throat> a splatter on that. Oops, quite sticky these. I've done a few cards with these now. Um, but I hadn't used it when I first got it, so I'm extremely pleased it's carried over. Thank you for your kindness. Can go on that one. Now we'll pop those out of the way. And I'll just pop the card over there. And I'm going to stamp off, so I'm going to bring in some grid paper. I want to get my new my new pad. Look at this with the ink colours, the new ink colours in it. So what did I do with my moon? Uh, don't lose the moon. I'm going to start with the beast image first, and I think we're going to stamp in Starry Sky. I'm sure I used a different one to stamp in last time, but I can't remember. <laughs> My brain doesn't work sometimes. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that is so pretty. Anyway, it's done. And we'll have one more over this way, like so. Oh, I love these little flowers. Might have to just do another one off the end. Oh, yes. Like that. Right, I'm just going to leave that to one side. And I'm going to bring in <clears throat> this one. And that can just fill in the gaps like that and then I'm going to stamp off like so didn't stamp too well but I don't mind I'm just going to stamp off and have another one coming out there like so like that every time you do these they're different anyway bring this one in oh no I did a different one in a different colour didn't I right, we'll do this one in a different colour I've got my chamois here, so I'll just give that a quick clean. And I think I used Blackberry Bliss. It might look naff, it might not, but that's the whole fun of playing with stamps and ink. Might have put a bit too much on this, but we'll see how we go. I'm not going to bring this one in because I've got too much on there, I think. However, I'm going to bring in gold. No, I've got gold. Just got Orchid Oasis and do this one. And it's to fill in the bottom. Give it a bit of the uh, extra, extra something at the bottom. Don't know what, but something extra. A bit of grounding, I think you call it. Yes, quite like that. Bit sad about that, but it's fine. It's fine. We can cope. Now. I'm going to put my moon on. 
which way round did I do it? No, I need to colour first actually because I did try it on a different one and it didn't pick the colours up that good when I um, when I blended first and then did the colour. So I'm just going to do these and be good while I've got, got it out. I think I'll need to wash my chamois after this so. I think I tapped a bit too hard on the ink pad and I think it's because they're new and they're really, really juicy. But, right. And then all I did is I got some of these, the Rich Razzlebury, and I just coloured in some of these like this. It's very therapeutic if you don't want to watch me coloring in these you can fast forward that's the beauty of youtube or if you want to sit and watch me it's absolutely fine i didn't do ever like i didn't go over and do like leaves and things i just did the odd berries right and then let's see it's blue for the flowers and what I'm going to do in a minute is just go over with the wink of Stella mm -mm -mm. can we see any more flowers uh, blue as well see and I'm not even being particularly nearly neat it's just spotting where they are And then when we put the wink of Stella on, it will move the colour out a bit. Right, so I've got those ones there. I'm just going to lightly go over these. Oops. Spotted some flowers, missed them. Oops. <clears throat> Eat the dark one. I'm just gonna have these little berries. like so and I think that was all that I actually did and then I got my wink of Stella this is the... and then I just went over and it spreads the colour and gives it a bit of a glitter no, me and my glitter. I like it. Let's just wipe my brush. I was going to do these red ones. So you can use water if you want to. Wink of Stella for me all the time. You can never have enough glitter in your life. There we go. And then last but not least, these flowers. See how it pushes it out. 
<clears throat> Winker Cell is quite good as well though for uh, picking up ink. Like on sunflowers, when you stamp them, you can just go over Wing Castella and it will pick up the ink that you've just stamped and spread it over. And that does have quite a nice effect. See how it's mixed that? <laughs> it's made it more purpley. That's because it's probably picking up some of the ink that's in there. It needs a bit of a... There we go. Then we shall get our moon and put it down. And then we need to blend. So I'm thinking for blending, I'm going to do a bit of misty moonlight, a bit of starry sky, and a bit of. I don't know if I've got Orchid Oasis or the Azure Afternoon. No, actually, we're going to do Rebels and we're going to do Pool Party. Let's see what that looks like. I think in the middle and then the darker one round the outside. So I just need a brush. So this isn't a Stampin' Up! brush. These are Stampin' Up! brushes. And these are the ones I got off Amazon before Stampin' Up! had them. These are lovely. They're so big and thick. And these are good, but I like these. Right, just start on here and go round the moon or the sun, but I think it's more of a moony type. Let's turn that round. Let's take it out a bit. <clears throat> And then I want to come in and just give this a bit. <clears throat> Take the starkness of the white off. And just build it up you can go as dark or as light as you want and I quite like that that looks quite nice and then we're going to go dark around the edges I'll sh leave that one open for now I'm going to bring in misty moonlight I've got some fluff on there and Got a misty moonlight brush. I think this is light misty moonlight. So it's going to build it up. Go quite dark at the bottom, and then I might edge it with a bit of starry sky. actually quite really like this effect <laughs> and then as I've taken off the dark I am coming up a bit but then it should be a bit lighter because I've taken off a lot of the ink dark at the top because like I said we're going to edge it with the starry sky and then I'm just going to come back in with a bit of the coastal like that that's nice and I'm just going to bring the starry sky in I can use the blue because it's darker oh look at that <laughs> 
that is juicy Dotage. We need some dotage. So I'm thinking about doing Blackberry Bliss dotage and we'll see what that looks like. Let's put that splat stamp in. Yeah. Let's take the moon off. Oh, look how pretty that is. Yes, I like that. Now, I don't know what colour to do the sentiment in, but I'm thinking we might do it in Blackberry Bliss. Let's see, I've got a scrap piece here. It's not very straight, is it? I can straighten it up, it's not a problem. I'll do one in that and I'll also do one in Orchid Oasis and we can see what we like best. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? We'll see. We will see. Let's shut these up. So I'm making a right mess now. Uh, let's clean that off. I'm getting, I'm trying, I've been really good today actually cleaning things off after I've used them, which they usually don't do. They usually have a massive pile let's get rid of that now and the moon right so because this is six across let me just check yep we're going to cut this into two two inch strips i've got my little mini cut here i need to clean this it's got a bit of glue on it so i'm lining it up on there I'm going to cut it. The same with this one. Lovely. Move that out of the way. Right, so this is now where we decide which one we want it on. So, do we want it on a dark one? Or do we want it on a lighter one? Oh, I actually quite like that. I think we'll go with the lighter one on this. Keep that scrap out because we'll need that. Can you see? Might have to go over it again with a bit more Winker Stella. As you do. And I'm just lining it up. Get my glue. You see my hands shaking. There we go. Do the other end. I'm quite sure with how this has turned out actually. Oops. And this is why it's good having liquid go because you can move it. Very nice. We like, we do like. I'm just going to pop an extra bit of Winker Stella on, like I say, you can never have too much. Oh, they're really glittery. Like that. I 
made too much just a bit just a bit i think that's what i was trying to work out i think i did the coloring then the blending then i think i did the wink of stella there we go and to finish it off i just uh, tapped my wink of stella all over because you can never have too much better bring in your car base could pop this up on dimensionals though if you're going to post it it's probably better flatter because of the uh, how much postage is these days but if you're hand delivering it you could always pop it up right so thank you for your kindness i'm just just I'm thinking we might do a starry sky one actually. I think I'd like a dark sentiment, she says. And look at the mess I've made on there. Right. Yes. Yeah, I think I like that. <clears throat> Too close for that one. Yeah, I think I'm liking that one better. Might just cut it down a bit though. <clears throat> See, we're faffing about the sentiments now because I can't make my mind up. Don't want it to take over the whole car. No. And the way I do it, instead of measuring it, I just put a bit of glue on, line it up. And then give it a trim. And that's our sentiment. Pop this up on a couple of dimensionals and then we're done. Just with some uh, little bit of bling on there and we'll be right. Just look and see where the puppy is. Oh, he's outside. He's taken both his beds out. And I think he's got his squizzle stick or whatever they're called, pizzle sticks or something like that. Right, I'm thinking of going there with the sentiment. And now I'm just going to bring in some gems and some butterflies. So we have these. Uh, I can't remember the colours. What am I like? Right, I'm gone. Better check the colours. Right, so these are the gems I've got. Tinsel Gems 3 pack and Tinsel Gems 4 pack. So we've got Misty Moonlight. Is this the 3 pack? It's got Misty Moonlight, Fresh Freesia and Lost Lagoon. And in this one... We have Pretty Peacock, Pretty Peacock, Blueberry Bushel, Berry Burst and Lemon and Lime Twist which is under there and we have, right, don't get down, leave the pussycat alone, come up here, right, 
sorry about this the cat decides to sit on the table so then the dog can reach him and the cat just sits there and then he decides to give him his paw on his nose won't learn right so i think we're going to have some misty moonlight out of here i think they'll go nice on this one or we could do the the pink ones no let's go with the blue ones see how indecisive i am <laughs> right so we'll have a blue one on there a little blue one next to him and then we'll have oh i love gems there we go maybe put one down here oh beautiful right thank you very much for joining me today oh i forgot the butterflies forgot the butterflies uh, let's get a couple of these butterflies we'll have one there oops and we'll have one up there there we go right so that's my take on a triptychs card so that was the original one i've done as you can see this is just slightly bigger because i thought it set out better and we've used dainty delight most of the stamp sets out of there we've used the splat out of irresistible balloons and we've used this little yeah. flower out of sending smiles can you hear him barking sorry about that brush butterflies and we've used the three pack of tinsel gems and the misty moonlight ones in there and we've had an array of colors we've had misty moonlight starry sky pool party as your afternoon blackberry bliss orchid oasis and some watercolor pencils to make this card so i really hope you like it right enough did you hear the cat then as well he won't move that we just sit there <laughs> Right, so thank you very much for joining me. Really hope you've enjoyed the card. Sorry for the interruptions, like you can hear. Uh, let me know which one you like best, which colour scheme, and I hope you can join me again soon. Bye. Oh, here comes the cat out the way. Right, speech.